Let's go. Let's you, can, you can hit me and see me. Nothing much, man. Um, All right, so for my manager that's off, watching, yeah, it's not my connection. You good, you good. I told you. Was just, I told you. He over here getting, he getting on my head saying, man, you got you got too much money to have bad <laughs> Wi-Fi. Man, my, my – <laughs> How you feeling today, though? You good? <laughs> I'm good, man. I'm good, man. I'm I'm glad we can sort it out. Uh, you know, definitely happy to have you on here. Um, uh, also, because people were killing me. Um, <laughs> people were killing me when you when you was on. It's like, is yeah, he coming? Followers, what are you baby. doing? My followers. Um, you know, we good now. Kid, it's all good. Man, my fans um, are kids. So, yeah, uh, yeah. They definitely not playing with me today. Um, okay, so you know, we just start from the top, man. Um, kind of when you were growing up, like, kind of what artists did you like, and did you ever see yourself as a rapper? Were you somebody? Who nah, was growing like, up, I was, I was, was that always a goal. You were yeah, something kind of kind of stepped into football player, football playing X. Yeah, you could ask me. Four five years old, X. What you gonna be, bro? I'm gonna play football. I play football, so that's that's what I was. I wanted to be a football player. Stepped in and play. I like that. A lot of stuff happened. And this was just another little talent I figured out. And I just, whatever I do, I like to put my best foot first. You know what I'm saying? So once I started doing it, I wanted to be the best at it. And so here we are. But as far as like just what I listened to growing up, so my mama from eight, um, from, she's from, she from Houston. I almost said eight time. She's from Houston. And so I just grew up listening to like a lot of slow chop. You know what I'm saying? But then when I was with my pops, it's a bunch of old school R and B, Eyes the Brothers. So that's kind of what that's why my music sound how it sound, like my beat selections and whatnot. But yeah. Um so uh, just kind of talking about, you know, the I played well, you played football. When I was like, smaller, what, what was know, I, I played I played middle linebacker. But uh when I really was just five and I played anything on the offensive and defensive line. I actually mm -hmm. went to college for it. Went to college for a semester. I got kicked out. That's when stuff started going down here. Okay. Right. Um, now, honestly, so that when you started honestly, that's when I just really started to trying to survive. Like, I had, you know, I had my parents growing up. And then, like, 16, 17, that's when I was kind of on my own. But college, you know, like, football really – Filled that void because I was able to go to college. I had somewhere to stay and whatnot. But after I got kicked out of college, it was just me. You know what I'm saying? It was me on my own, so I had to figure mm -hmm. it out. And that's when you know when you you got to figure stuff out. Not nobody want to work at McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? So made some bad decisions. Right. And like I said, that's right. once I made some bad decisions. So I miss my son. First. I don't really be trying to talk about it too much, but I miss my son's first birthday sitting in the cell, and so. It, that kind of that kind of threw me off. That kind of made me like that was wow. my, what you know what I'm saying? What you doing, moment? Like what are you doing? You got a child now, and you ain't even there for his first birthday because you in this cell. Even though it's the opposite, I was trying to make money for him, but it's like there's so many other ways in this world that you can make money. And so me just sitting in that cell, and then I actually when I, when it was his birthday, I kind of went a little crazy, so they had to put me in solitary. So that's really where it all got put together. After I counted all the bricks on the wall. I was like, all right, I'm going crazy. I got to do something else. And so I just got to hollering and asking, like, well, what y'all doing to stay sane? And they was like, man, do poetry or write a story or something. And I was like, you know, I'm young. So I'm like, hey, no, I'm not going to do no goddamn poetry or no, no story. So they was like, well, you young and you rap. Try to rap. And so <laughs> I just start, I just start writing and just start rapping. And that's, I guess that's where I perfected it. You know what I'm saying? It just, I'm, I'm not going to say perfected it, but that's where I just realized, okay, I can do this. I'm still perfecting. I'm still, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Nobody perfect. I'm still trying to get it right. Right. When did you feel, kind of how long did it take you to feel like, oh, this is good. Like, I'm getting good at this now. Like, what I'm writing, uh, like, this is fire. If you're asking me, I'm going to say I've ripped. The first song I ever just wrote, I thought was hard. But that's just because it was something that I thought I couldn't do. You know what I'm saying? But just when it, when I feel like everybody caught on, I'm going to say, like, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Trouble. It was just like, that was just my first song actually going to a real studio. I went in nobody's closet. So it was just something that people, it was it was good to the ear. People actually could, they wanted to listen to it. And so 
that was just the first song I feel like everybody actually could hear, and it just went crazy. Was that 2021? And that was 2021, yeah. right? Mr. Trump, Mr. Trump, was that Yeah. Yeah. It's happening so fast, man, I don't even, <laughs> I don't even know. But I've only been rapping like a year and a half, two <laughs> years, well, about two years now. So yeah, right. it was about 2021. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I was kind of want to speak to you about that too. Like, not just like the songs, but more in the sense of like, kind of what is it like for you, or what has it been like for you, like navigating kind of like the Dallas rap scene or like I mean, the Texas rap scene in general. You you, you saying like navigate as far as like just how I'm moving to like just. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. Just yeah. being an artist, because I think for you, things change so, like, so quickly. So, like, and in I Dallas, think, like, when I kind of you know, came up... That's kind of wild. Like, it can be a lot of people. When I came up, it was just a lot of, like... I ain't even going to say beef no more. It was just a lot of hostility. You know what I'm saying? So rappers didn't know what rappers they could mess with. Mm -hmm. Everybody was just kind of mm -hmm. just in their own... I ain't even going to say in their own lane. It was just all sectioned off. So I kind of just jumped. It was in my own lane. I, that's, that's really how I feel like I got here. Because I didn't feed in the... None of the, the antics and the the people that was trying to get me to, you know what I'm saying, be in that beef category. You know, that's when I feel like Dallas, right? The Dallas Fort Worth area is known for beef rapping. You know what I'm saying? Everybody rapping against one another and whatnot. And I feel like that's what separated me because it was something fresh. It was something new. That's that everybody just beefing. I hopped in my own lane. I stayed in my own little circle and my own little inner circle. Mm -hmm. and, we, and we made it. The, rap, the, talent, was, the talent was there. They just knew if we, that's just like, you know, you got that one football player in the hood. They always right. tell you, man, we got to keep you safe. That's 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 really all it was. You, I, I had the talent. They say I got the mm -hmm. work ethic. At this point, it's just keeping you out of trouble. Because they know I, I was fast. I'm better. I'm better now. But they know I was fast. So they just be like, nah, X, we just got to keep you. We keep you level-headed. And... I, we know we all gonna be good because I'm not no selfish person. Everybody that's around me know when I'm out, they out. So like right now, I'm not out. I'm you know what I'm saying. I'm I'm a, I'm a pretty high rapper, but I'm not out. I'm not out until we all look how mm -hmm. I'm looking on the internet. You know what I'm saying? So it's just I don't know. Just I, I, it, to answer mm -hmm. your question, right. I say just my team and the people around me. That's what really got me where I was. Like I said, the talent is there. Everybody, you know, it's a lot of people in the world that can rap or make music they just they end up you know how many i don't know if i can say this on the live but you know how many like dope fiends i know they can rap their ass off but they just you know what i'm saying they went down that road that's where people keeping me safe they keeping me in the land that i need to be in and that's that's what's really getting me getting us to where we at right no i think that's important i think having the right people around you and i think I also think you started on the right foot too, because like you said, the first song you wrote, yeah. you were like, this is good. And I think having the confidence is important out the gate and then having the right people. And then on top of that, you keep working, you keep rapping, you keep making songs. And I think, you know, everybody sees the improvement and kind of how far you've been moving. And I think that's what really makes a difference. Um, I know we were talking about 2021 a little earlier. Um, yeah. You know, basically you had, I mean, you had a bunch of songs in 2021 and you had a moving at the same time you know mr trouble like you said uh big stepper safe house so when these songs are starting to take uh, off right they're all taking off in 2021 and that's leading into 2022 right how did I, that affect what you did you, next, 2021, next like the next when, couple we of weren't really making career? a noise like what you're like yeah, oh, when you did the shit with half point first just... yeah you know so i didn't i didn't start really going crazy for like the end of 2021 2022 what year that was the year 2022 that's yeah. when Mm -hmm. That's when uh, I think is that when right? No, nah, I had already. Oh, that's why I see it's all going so fast. But twenty twenty two was definitely a great year. Twenty twenty two was just a year of <laughs> yes. proving myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, I still was looking at myself as a upcoming rapper. I still look at myself as an upcoming rapper until until you can say my name and future name, a little baby name in the same sentence. I'm still an up and coming rapper. You know what I'm saying? So that's just. I don't know, it's just it's how I look at it. It's how I've been looking at it. Right. Um, you 
I think one thing about you is like your music is really like from a technical aspect, from like how you flow and how you putting the words together and how to kind of how you're like finishing the songs and stuff like that. Like it's not like at a really like high level, especially for somebody when you say, you know, you've only been rapping a couple of years. Um, how, how did you like work on that? Like, how do you feel? What do you feel you were doing to literally get listen, better at just, just listening to people's music to where you're at the point? Not right everybody now. input matter, but you got it's like you got to listen to everybody input to see which one's mm -hmm. right. You know what I'm saying? So just listening, listening to everybody's input. Everybody was like, you know, I feel like you should do this. I feel like you should do that. Some of them, I was like, nah. And some of them, I was like, you know what, you're right. And just, and I got a partner, I got a partner named Ro. The dude been rapping since I've been knowing him for sure. And I'm pretty sure he was rapping. Well, I know he was rapping years before that. And so he's really a part of the reason I was rapping too. And so just him being on my mm -hmm. hip, it's really just kind of what made me better too, because like I said, he had been rapping, so he kind of already knew. He already knew. I just kind of put what he was telling me into into use, and it worked out. Right. 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 Um, your music is like, is there something distinctly like Texas or Texan about it? But at yeah. the same time, it's not like you are um, trying to rehash the old old days like it doesn't feel like you're trying to rework old stuff yeah. it just feels very like specific and kind of updated how did you kind of figure out like your sound like how did you get to this point where like it feels like kind of like your music feels established and when you make when you put a song out like people know it's you how did you get to that point where it's like you have like this See, when kind it's, of when it's like, real solid identity you know as like, an artist you, you actually then did it or it's, it's just you actually talking about something it's, it's easier to talk about more people relate, more people understand, more people can feel it. So, like, that's why that, I feel like that mumble rap stage didn't really last that long because people couldn't feel it. You can't feel it. You know what I'm saying? And so that's just, my, I feel like it's my voice and the fact that I'm talking about something. I don't think it's really, I mean, yeah, I got, I got, a, I got a Southern accent, a Texan accent, but I don't feel like it's really Texan. Like, you know, it's yeah. just... That's just that southern soul in me, you know what I'm saying? That's just my voice. It carries it just just that with a story, with an actual a story to tell, something real to talk about. That's I feel like that's what's that's what's making mm -hmm. it stand out. Right. Right. No, I think so too. Mm -hmm. Um you put out the uh Big Stepper EP in I wanna say July. Um which put together some of the songs you already had out. <laughs> if we're being honest, and also some, if like, some honest, new stuff, if I'm not mistaken, there, too. Um, one new song. I, I had already dropped all six of those songs. I just <laughs> added one song on it, and the EP went crazy. It charted on Apple Music. I mean, that's, that's just, I don't know, man. It's right. just showing, like, that showed me that, you ain't, because the album was old songs. You ain't even did nothing, and you just charted from songs that's a year old. Right. 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 Because that's what I was going to ask, too. I was going to ask, like, after you put it out, like, kind of what changed for you? Because I, yeah. just like you said, where you only added, only one of the songs was new. But the point of the EP, P at the end of the day is you just have a collection of songs in one place that people can listen through and be like, hey, listen to this. And yeah. all it takes is something like that and people will, that'll put people onto you, which I'm sure, you know, is what happened. But when you saw the success of it, kind of what was going through your mind and kind of what did you I was actually time? shocked, to be honest. I was shocked because it's like, man, I don't even know how to explain it. I was shocked, but at the same time, it made me like, it just made my mentality ten times better, cause it was like it just showed that it was it was paying off. You know what I'm saying? Cause mm -hmm. a lot of people don't know, but yeah, that is you know the Instagram and all that make it look good, but it just it still don't be paying off. Like it take a lot to to gain some stuff off of this music stuff, and so just just seeing that that just kind of made me hold on and just kind of right. want to keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? It showed that I can make a career out of. Right. Right. Um, yeah. Texas obviously came out in November, uh, moving really fast. Um, and 
it's really like, you know, just an ode to your state and across kind of a different bunch of different levels, like music and entertainment and culture and stuff like that. Um, why do you feel like um, people gravitated towards it so much? And kind of what was your idea behind it? Because, I mean, I think for me, I think speaking from my perspective, um, this yeah. song is very sincere. Like, people have made songs about the state they're from before. But Texas is very sincere and is very straight and to the point. But you can tell that you really do care. And the, even the rappers that you wrote, yeah. you can tell you actually listen to them and you actually, like, wanted to say yeah, like you said, it was just um, it, what it is, was tribute is, what is to my state. Show? My state, I know it's going crazy because, for one, Texas is a great market, big market. You know what I'm saying? And so that was really one of the first things because, like, we, we – right. Me and my team, we've been looking at it as like we take it small steps at a time. We go day by day. So like we looked at it as okay, boom, take over your area first. Then you take over your city. Then you take over your state. Then you take over the world. You know what I'm saying? So the first step was taking over my state. And that's just that was just mm -hmm. the, the goal of it. And due to the fact that I'm a Texas made man, I've been here my whole life. It was easy. You know what I'm saying? So just with it being easy, like I said, something real that's been like, being able to be talked about in the song it just all went together and just made it a great song right um you know a lot has gone on um you know with you just with your career over these last two years kind of how do you stay like focused on it and just keep com and you stay committed the, just keep the putting the music out and like kind of focusing on that Carter or more that's, that's my boy that's what I do everything for. I, I do everything I do now for him. Everything. When I get up in the mornings, when I brush my teeth, it's all for him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's everything I do is for him. So that's that's it. Carter, that's what keep me focused. Like I said, that's that what gives me up every morning. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't explain enough better than that. <laughs> right. Right. No, because right, and I think that's right. That's that's bigger than you know your your child. That's bigger than anything that can happen in music or in the rap game. So I can see why the music is always at the forefront, and you just continuing to create and keep pushing because right, you have something much bigger than all of this that's kind of motivating you. Um, what, what do you have coming up next? Uh, well, I mean, some projects, people know singles, videos, people shows know, could be any dropping an album this month. I believe January the twenty fifth, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, so we dropped out a twelve song album mm -hmm. this, this month, and we hoping for we hope we got we got high hopes for it. We know it's gonna go crazy. We know, and, it, and it's not. Go ahead. What's it's called Amar? It's my son middle name. What's the title? Amar. It's, it, the meaning behind Amar is oh, like, okay. like forever life, okay. like everlasting life. You know what I'm saying? Like, never end. And this ain't never going to end. You know what I'm saying? It's never going to end. So it was just, I don't know, I just felt like it was a, it was just a big, it's like a mm -hmm. statement. You know what I'm saying? We're making a big statement with this first album. So. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. No, definitely looking forward to it. Um, What do you think is the, the uh, Biggest moment of your career so far. That I'm even so if you, if you feel that you've had one yet, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, like just a, just a couple months ago, we was we was trying to be number one, the number one artist out of Dallas on the list. You know what I'm saying? We got a, a little blog called Dallas. We got, we got a blog called Dallas Global. I'm trying to be number one on that list, and now here I am on live with Eight Six L. You know what I'm saying? Like. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> no, nah, man. I mean, happy look, man. Happy to have you. Um, you know, um, I like I said, I knew about your music and stuff like that, but like, I had somebody completely unrelated, That's like hard. doesn't even work in the music industry. She DM me and was like, "You got to check this guy out," and I was just like, stuff like that is kind of like stuff like that sticks out to me because you know. Yeah. I take the opinion of people who have like nothing to do with the music yeah. industry very seriously because they just tend to be fans. They just love the music and that's just kind of, you know, where it comes from. So when people are reaching out to me and sending me stuff like yeah. that and, you know, talking so highly of you, I'm just like, 
this is the kind of people we want on the show. Um, and of course, the music, the mu music matches up. So you know, it, it absolutely is kind of a perfect fit. Um, what's something that most people don't know about you? <laughs> That's all I listen to is, is if it ain't slow, <laughs> it gotta go. I, mean, I listen to I listen to member slow jazz. Me and my partner, me and my partner, <laughs> sat in this car in the same spot for like an hour last night, yeah. smoking and listening to Tevin Campbell and Usher and Mudcap. That's the he, he wasn't even like he wasn't even that type of dude at first. You know what I'm saying? They, I, you know, but, I, they know when they get in the car with X, that's what Tommy is. So after right. a while, he was just like, you know what I'm saying? You can't be men, but fuck with <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, right. I think it's great music. It should be listened to. So, I mean, right. I, I totally get it. 100%. Um, just to wrap it up, um, is there anything you want to throw uh, out there? Anything man, I, I don't want to say is, to talk about, you know, the floor is yours. For that album, man. That album. That's that's gonna tell you any any part of my life you don't know yet, you're gonna find you're gonna figure it out in that album. You're gonna hear some part of you know what I'm saying? So just be on the lookout for the album more January. I I y'all make sure y'all follow me on Instagram so y'all can get that official date. Make sure y'all tap in, tap into my gram man, and y'all be on the lookout for that more. Okay. Yes, sir. Sure. Absolutely, man. Well, thank you. Thank you for pulling up. Thank you for everybody who checked us out today.